nitric oxide is used, you know, these, these drugs are used to, in, to kind of enhance nitric oxide signaling in heart disease patients. That's how uh, Viagra works. So one of the reasons I'm interested in low level laser light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation, also known as infrared, one of the reasons I'm interested in infrared is I see so many health benefits from it at a molecular level scientifically in the research. The research is exploding right now. And I want to test it out on my own stem cells on these fat derived stem cells, adipose derived mesen mesenchymal stem cells that I have from patients, from humans. I want to test it out and try and reprogram these cells. So I called Scott Nelson. He's the co-founder of Juve. And he does a lot of podcasts, same type of podcasts that, I, that I'm on. Um, he's interviewed frequently. He's a good guy. He just moved from Minnesota to California, unfortunately, so I didn't get to just drive and meet him in person. But um, I told him what I'm doing in the research lab. He sent me one of these. This is a uh, Juve infrared light. And what I'm going to do, it's just the near infrared. And that's what I'm most interested in. I'm going to put this above my cells, my stem cells and reprogram them in healthy ways. The reason I'm confident this is gonna work is because of the research. So we've talked about the research, right? We've talked about how healthy it is for your joints, how healthy it is for your brain, BDNF in your brain. But let's, I just wanna give you an overview today and show you kind of scientifically how this works. The Journal of Selected Topics in Quantum Electronics, 2016, I've got a paper here called Proposed Mechanisms mechanisms how does it work mechanisms of photobiomodulation or low level laser light therapy proposed mechanisms so it starts off by saying photobiomodulation also known as low level laser light therapy and by the way also known as infrared of course has been known for almost 50 years but has not gained widespread acceptance why not well they said in recent years or they say in recent years much knowledge has been gained in this area that's what's going on. We're seeing this explosion. This is 2016. Explosion of research because we're understanding the molecular mechanisms of how it works, which gives scientists a more uh, specific and precise way to study this. We're not just kind of guessing and groping around in the dark. We're actually able to focus in on what's really happening. What's happening? Um, one of the most important chromophores is cytochrome C oxidase. Um, it absorbs light in the near infrared region and photons dissociate inhibitory nitric oxide from this enzyme. So basically in your mitochondria where the energy is produced, if you're healthy and unless you're just burning sugar, you know, in the mitochondria, in, in creating lactic acid, in the mitochondria, you're creating this ATP. You use these enzymes called, or these big proteins called cytochrome C. Now what they're saying is cytochrome C if, if it's bound, if nitric oxide is stuck to that thing, it doesn't, it can't work. So the protons can't be pumped in. You can't generate this electrical gradient and then pump them back out and create ATP energy. You can't do that. So infrared frees up nitric oxide, allows your body to make that energy and allows the nitric oxide to go out and do all kinds of cool things. So as I said, scientists now can say, whoa, nitric oxide is released. Let's look at what happens after that. Whoa, cytochrome C oxidase is cranking out energy. Let's look and see what happens after that. And basically, I mean, I really wanted to go through this whole paper with you because it's awesome. If you really want a good review paper on infrared, this is the paper. Um, they talk about so many things, the anti-inflammatory anti pathways, anti-hepatic proteins, antioxidant enzymes, stem cells. Here's a quote from stem cells and progenitor cells appear to be particularly susceptible to infrared stem cells but i'm not going to go through the whole paper it's too detailed it's too long but in you know but the focus the point that i wanted to really make from that re, re, that review paper is it it simulates exercise it's a fine-tuned balance so you can overdo it you can overtrain. you can overdo the infrared and have kind of a negative response for calcium for you know cell death for you know for all kinds of different things but you don't need to overdo it. Your body will actually communicate. So when I use this infrared light I have, after about 10 minutes, my skin gets all tingly and weird feeling. And I kind of know, hey, back off. My wife doesn't get that feeling. So, you know, I think she could go longer, half an hour maybe. 
because I think my nitric oxide is freeing up. I'm feeling the nitric oxide. And of course, by the way, nitric oxide is used, you know, these, these drugs are used to, in, to kind of enhance nitric oxide signaling in heart disease patients. That's how uh, Viagra works, you know? That's one of the things I'm writing about in Blubber Brain, in my book Blubber Brain, because that's one of the keys to success to health for your, pl for your arteries. You know, it's not all about cholesterol. Nitric oxide, beets have a ton of nitric oxide. That's one of the reasons they're so healthy. But, the, but let's move to exercise. Last paper, 2017, in the Journal of Oxidative Medicine and Cellular Longevity. I have another review paper. Again, big picture. This one's called Effects of Photobiomodulation Therapy on Oxidative Stress in Muscle Injury Animal Models. A systemic review. Muscle injury. So... You know, it's just a review looking at all these these papers, these studies that have been done recently. This is 2017. Again, huge flurry of studies have been done. Um, it can be effective, they say. Short-term approach to reducing oxidative stress to increase antioxidants. Same kind of stuff we just saw in that other review paper, right? And what I want to bring out here, and by the way, of course, stem cells are activated by this. And that's something, again, I really want to emphasize. Big picture, what happens? Stem cell activation. You know, people don't realize at age 65, your stem cells drop drastically. As you age, you have less and less stem cells. One of the things infrared does, it increases the number of stem cells. So what this study did, is it, or what this review did, is it looked at all these studies. There's, there's like 10 of them they looked at, with 30 animals, 80 animals, 28 animals, 18 animals, 60 animals, I mean, just a huge amount of study. They list out what the studies were about, oxidative stress, protein oxidation, antioxidants, creatine, um, muscle evaluation, nitric oxide, etc. What did they conclude? Although the small number of studies limits the systemic review, you know, they don't have these huge numbers like thousands of people, whatever, it limits this, this review, but evidence was found to suggest that photobiomodulation infrared is an effective short-term approach for reducing oxidative stress in muscle injury yet another thing why antioxidants so again it's like exercise it really is you know you don't want to overdo it and here's the real trick people are emailing me and saying hey this is going to be great for my alzheimer's patient this is going to be great for my joints the thing about exercise exercise is also great for these things but it's slow it's not a miracle cure there is no such thing as a miracle cure for the most part. I mean, sometimes you see incredible results with these antibody drugs for cancers and things. Maybe I'll, I'll definitely do videos on that in the future, but you know, th this is more of a commitment. And so that's, what, that's really what you know, nature intended. You can't just throw a pill at something and expect everything to just resolve immediately. This is more realistic. Again, it imitates exercise. Don't overtrain, commit to it, go slow, you know, be more consistent and expect a gradual increase in all these health parameters. It works by increasing energy, increasing nitric oxide. Check out that review and keep, I'll keep you posted on my stem cell research. <laughs>